it's really hard to describe. You know, I, I grew up here in the Highlands and Islands, and, and this is where I live and work. And I love the region so much, and uh, to, to represent it and the party in the Parliament is just going to be the, the honour of a lifetime. And people always attach a great significance to people who are the youngest, or you know, they, they like to pick things out like that. I mean, what does it mean to you to be the youngest member? Well, I talk a lot about diversity in Parliament, and I think that's really important, but generally I'm talking about um, ethnicity and, and disability. I think age is one we like to focus on because it, it is quite obvious, and people have certain preconceptions about what a young politician would would focus on. So what I would certainly like to do is talk about the policies that I'm interested in, because for me it's, it's about housing, it's about poverty, it's not about whose, whose birthday comes first. I mean, of course, I mean, we did see a younger section able to vote this time around as well. I mean, do we think, are younger people engaging more in politics these days than, than maybe in years gone by? Yeah, I think so. I think lowering the voting age to, to 16 has done wonders for, for youth engagement. I mean, if you look at the numbers of people who were 16 and 17 in 2014, not only did they vote in 2014, but they are still voting now. So what's your priorities moving ahead from here? Um, housing is absolutely my, my number one focus and that's everything from tackling homelessness to protecting rights for private renters and making sure that there are homes available. That's been a big thing for the Highlands, hasn't it? People being able to afford to stay where they have grown up. Yeah, definitely. It's absolutely central to the concern about depopulation in the region. So making sure that a lot of the 100,000 new affordable homes that the SNP has promised are going to be seen in this region is, is going to be a focus for me.